There is a lot of noises happening outside today. I don't know what's going on with all my neighbors, but today is the day, for some reason, to do anything and everything with their dog, with their kids, with their cars, with their tools, everything. So hopefully we don't get interrupted too much and hopefully you can't hear that engine revving outside currently, but we are on day five of the Boat Party Love Island Season 3. Thirst and tapas. It's the final night in Barcelona and you have a big decision to make. So we left off, we're about to go to dinner and we're gonna try to talk to Ty and uh, get him back because annoyingly he was taken from us. Let's see. Welcome back to our Love Island reunion, listeners. Huh, that sounds kind of clunky. Love Island All-Stars? Nah, mate. I'd get Allegra from season one if it was All Stars. In case you've forgotten, last episode we had some fun times in a theme park. I ate my whole body weight in candy floss and threw up in a bin. Wow, now that's content. I saw Joe Sabrina on the Ferris wheel. It looked so romantic. Was she up there with Ty? Yeah, I saw them getting cozy. Who else should I be getting cozy with besides my boyfriend? Hmm? Still butthurt. Moving on. She was considering taking Rafi too, I think. Nope, not at all. Oof, talk about a love triangle. Or very, very, very lack thereof. Where to now, Nikki? I think we're getting some grub now. I'm actually really hungry and I really wanna go out to eat. Like, you know, you know when you say you wanna go on a date when you're craving McDonald's or something, but what you really want is to like, dress up for it and go to the nice place with the pretty stuff, but you want McDonald's food? not the fancy restaurant food. <laughs> Can that be a thing? Can that, oh my God, like a really fancy McDonald's where they like bring you the food. Like you sit down and you order your McDonald's and they bring it to you on like plates, not in cardboard. Can they do this? This would be amazing. Oh, Bofer, were you coming to say hello or where'd you go? I just saw you. Oh my God. <laughs> Guys, I saw my straw. <laughs> Wait. I saw my straw in the camera and I thought it was my cat's tail and I was like freaking out. Okay, I watched a horror story video before this and so I'm a little jumpy right now and I saw my cat's tail and I was trying to find my cat and it's not my cat, it's my cup. Oh my lord, okay. Moving on, I was just, I'm, I must be really tired. I was just talking about McDonald's and then my cat and, okay. Babe, where are you? We need to make our reservation. Just doing a quick recording, be there in a sec. Are you in the toilet? It's for the acoustics. Gross. She doesn't understand. No one does, mate. We're off to a gorgeous restaurant for dinner tonight. Shall I wear something stunning for the evening? Okay, so now makes more sense. Oh, whoa. Oh no, there's more. There's, there's this. When did this get here? Okay, so now the options make more sense and I feel like I'm gonna go all out and get this dress just because, you know, it's out to dinner. This is also cute, this one. But, let's do this one. It's kind of over the top for me personally, but why not? I'll be the belle of the ball. Or the restaurant. Now I'm ready to go. You and the others enter the restaurant, a huge swarm in the small space. So freaking cute. I love this so much. All of the artwork, they've done such a good job. I can't wait for this, I'm starving. I'm excited to try some real Spanish tapas. I've only ever had it from takeaways. Two garlic breads and one large chips for a tenner. A tenner for garlic bread and chips? Dios mio. A waiter directs you to a large table at the back of the restaurant. Everyone starts taking their seats. Wow, Joe Sabrine, you went all out this evening. Here's to the crew of the SS, SS marinara sauce. <laughs> Genevieve joins the others and takes a seat. Who do I want to sit next to for the meal? I love that they're giving us the option to just be with our friend for a lot of this. Like we could have got her the gift, we can sit next to her now. That's a really nice touch. But because we are after our boyfriend, we're gonna sit next to Ty. 
You take a seat next to Ty. Ty gives you a hesitant smile. Why is he still hesitant? Hello, we had a moment. <laughs> Hi. Hi. The waiter hands out menus and you peruse your choices. If everyone orders something different, we can put all the plates in the middle and share. Honestly, I don't like that. Like, if they were bigger plates maybe, but I feel like in this restaurant they're gonna be small plates. And what if I really like something, like what I ordered, and I wanna finish the whole thing? Oh no, I'm not falling into that trap. I agree, first it's, let me try some of yours, and before you know it, half your boonas gone, and all that's left is the korma. You are literally describing tapas. Trying each other's dishes is the whole point. When in Spain, I guess. What should I order? I have no idea what any of this is. So, you know what I wanna do? I don't wanna ask. I just wanna like pick something. No, maybe I don't, I don't know. You know what, this, Al Albon Dias. I don't know, I'm not even gonna try to say it. I'm sorry, ignore me. The, that, please. <laughs> Ooh, that sounds yummy. The waiter takes everyone's order. When he gets to Yasmin, she hesitates. I don't know what to order. Want me to translate it for you? No, it's okay. Um, I don't want anything. What? Yasmin, you have to order something. I can't decide. Let me have a look. He reaches over to take her menu. She pulls it out of his grasp. Just leave it. I don't want anything, okay? Wonder what's going on here. There's an awkward silence as she hands her menu back to the waiter. Yaz, are you okay? Yeah, like, is she out of money? She has an eating disorder? She doesn't know how to read it and so she's embarrassed? Like, what's going on? Also, I don't want to be pushy. <laughs> Yasmin sighs. I'm fine. There were just a lot of choices. It's okay. We're all sharing anyway. Yasmin gives AJ a grateful smile. Yasmin seems a little off. I would ask her if she needs anything, I feel like. But also some people, if she's just embarrassed, sometimes it's better um, to like not focus on them, not make them like the elephant in the room, you know? Or tell her that she's among friends. I don't know, I'm gonna ask if she needs anything. Do you need something? She smiles at you. Just some water would be good. You pour some of the large jug on the table into a glass and pass it over to her. Thanks. Chatter breaks out among the group. Bill turns to Nikki. Mate, I can't wait to get to Magaluf. I haven't been since I was 20. It was a wild time. Everyone was out until 7 in the morning. Which was when I'd get up to give the local architecture a closer inspection. Aww. Wait for it. Of course, buildings weren't the only local attractions that got close inspection. There it is. I can't wait either. We've got some really cool stuff planned. Maybe I can get another accessory while we're there. I bet they have really nice bags there. People call it Bagaloof, don't they? Bill smirks. That's not what they call it, AJ. What do they call it, Bill? Bill bites his lip. AJ's got a playful look in her eye. Uh, no, you're right. It is Bagaloof. Yeah. A sudden loud buzz interrupts him. Mikey looks down at her phone. Sorry, sorry. The vibrating continues. You can feel it through the table. Mikey's phone is going off again. Ask her if she needs to take it, I guess? Nope. Turning it off, she puts her phone in her bag and sighs. Sometimes I miss the days when the only people that called me were my mom and the people trying to sell me stuff. Hard agree. I hate all the attention sometimes too. I don't feel like myself when I do photo shoots and people call me a proper model. Me? A model? The only good pose I do is a tree. Tell me about it. My life has changed so much in the last year. I'm so grateful that my career is taking off, but it feels like I never have a second to relax. I'm just so tired all the time these days. Babe, have you been to the doctor about that? That sounds serious. No, not yet. I know I should. I just can't find the time. Honestly though, I don't really want to talk about it right now. I want to enjoy being here. That's okay, babe. We're always here if you need us. She puts her arm around Yasmin and squeezes her. A small smile appears on Yasmin's lips. I guess fame affects everyone differently. What's been your experience with it, Josephine? <laughs> no selfie is safe. True, I guess. So much has changed. I get a little overwhelmed sometimes. My life is so different, which is definitely for the better. It's just a lot to process. I get that. Maybe it's harder for you lot, but I think this fame lark is easy. All I do is take pictures of the house I'm building. As for the rest of it, just wear a clean shirt every time you go out in case there's peps and Bob's your uncle.
Mikey raises her eyebrows at Bill. What? It takes more than a clean shirt. I put a lot of work into my content. Not to mention responding to comments, all the emails, it takes a lot of time and effort. Mikey stops abruptly mid-sentence. Wait, you don't have an Uncle Bob. Okay, you got me there, but all I'm trying to say is, combining my passion and my income is the dream. I couldn't be happier. Glad you're enjoying it, Bill, but it's like Mikey says, it's not that simple for all of us. It's been pretty simple for Captain Bickering over there, doesn't he just prance about in spandex for a living? That's Commander Icarus to you. And yeah, my career's really taken off since Love Island. He pulls a bottle of Caracal body spray and douses himself all over. Caracal, for the man who has everything, including B.O. What? Everyone starts coughing. Iona covers her face with a napkin. Ralph, have mercy, that stuff stinks. I have to go through three bottles a week as part of my contract. I know they pay you to flog it, but can you give it a rest? Yeah, chuck them into the recycling, mate. It's rank. That's why you never accept sponsorships for things you don't like. <laughs> Maybe he likes it, though. Rafi pouts. Everyone's making fun of Rafi's spray. So, I don't like any of these answers because my particular answer would be, we're about to eat dinner. Let's not be spraying things around our meal. I want to smell the food, not a cologne or body deodor spray deodorant, whatever he's got. <laughs> so I'm going to agree with them. Sorry, Raph, it does smell pretty bad. I'm getting strong year 10 vibes. The ingredients are all natural, non-toxic, so anyone can use it. This release definitely gets a U rating. U for universally terrible. The food starts coming out a few plates at a time. It smells delicious. You start grabbing a little bit of everything. Ooh, I want some of the al... Albondigas? Albondigas. That looks great. Yeah, nice ordering, Josephine. What can I say? It's a skill. I don't even know what it is. I'm gonna look it up. Let's see. Let's see what it is. Albondigas. It's a meatball. Or at least that's what Google says. It's meatballs. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Oh yeah? Yeah, people always get food envy over what I pick. That's funny. I just so happen to be an expert dessert picker. Mmm. Are you challenging me? Maybe I am. You get through the several plates quickly. Everyone is starving after a busy day. The menus for the desserts are brought out. I have to outpick Thai. I am completely gonna go with churros because I love churros and they make me feel like I'm a child at like SeaWorld or something. That's really dumb, but we're going with churros. I'll have the churros. Ooh, that's a good choice. Regretting yours? You wish. When dessert comes out, you realize you made the wrong decision. Ty's looks way better than yours. Excuse me, nothing is better than churros, okay? Nothing better than churros. I'm done. That is the end of this game for me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Aw, oh, yours looks so good. You chose wrong. No, I didn't. I love churros. He gleefully tucks into his dessert. Maybe the shiny demon is back and he's a dessert stealer. Should I nick Ty's dessert and blame it on the shiny demon? No, I'm not gonna do that because I am completely happy with churros. So, no, I'm not gonna waste my 10 gems on some food that I didn't want. <laughs> Ty takes a big bite of his dessert and moans loudly. Mmm, it's so good. He winks at you. He's taunting me. I'm gonna do nothing. I'm gonna taunt him right back with my churros, okay? Everyone finishes up. Your churros aren't half bad. They're delicious. Especially if we're eating them in Barcelona, okay? <laughs> Genevieve leans across and whispers to you. You know, it's halfway through the trip. If you were going to make a decision, now would be the time to do it. It's so hard. No, it's not. Our boyfriend, Ty. I know, but you can't keep them both hanging. It's not fair. You glance between Ty and Rafi. Ty gives you a warm smile and your mind is filled with memories of the good times. All the times he made you dinner, late nights playing video games, lazy Sunday mornings under the covers. Literally my life. <laughs> and then you glance over to Rafi, who looks at you under dark lashes, biting his lip. Who I am absolutely not interested in, at all. You think about the walk you shared this morning, the stolen glances, the heat, the non-existent feelings, you know. <laughs> 
it's time to make a decision. Time to make my choice. I hate that they say stick it out. Like, that's so unromantic. We could say something like, Ty has always been the one for me. You turn to Ty and smile. He looks back at you and frowns. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. Really good. Hang on, I need to do something. Be right back. You get up, stand off to the other side of the restaurant, and wave Rafi over. He gives you a big smile as he approaches. Hey, what's up? I just thought I should tell you first. I've decided to try and mend things with Ty. I don't know what's been going on between us, but there's something there, so I thought you should know. Should. Should. I hate that this happens, because then I click it and I miss the rest of it. Okay, he did. Ju she did just say, I think you should know. Rafi blinks for a few seconds before regaining composure. I understand. I think we both got a bit carried away. Anyway, it's fine. I hope we can still be friends. Of course. This is probably for the best. I've been thinking, I need to be on my own for a bit anyway. I need to figure out what I want from a partner and from life. Like, date myself, you know? Rafi wants to date himself. Sounds wonderful. Yeah, I think it's gonna be good. Let me know how it goes. I will. Rafi returns to the table, his smile almost convincing. You approach Ty and whisper in his ear. Hey, do you want to talk outside for a sec? I think this place has a roof terrace. Ty's eyes go wide, but you give him a reassuring smile. Okay, sure, let's go. You lead Ty by the hand up to the roof. The view is incredible. You look down over the whole city. Wow. Yeah. Ty shuffles on his feet. Why did you bring me up here? Ty seems nervous. Reassure him. There's no need to be nervous. We've been together for a year. Being alone together shouldn't be awkward. Okay. I wanted to say, we should never have been apart. You're my lobster? That's cute. We should never have been apart. No, because that sounds antagonistic, so I want to be with you. I've been giving it a lot of thought over the last few days, and I know what I want. And it's you. And you should probably never leave the house for weeks at a time without telling me where you are. I want to put in the work here. I know it will be hard, and we haven't solved anything yet. I still don't like how you talk to me sometimes. But the idea that we should throw away our relationship just because it's hard is silly. I love you. Ty looks off the roof into the distance like he's thinking. You wait for his answer. Eventually, he turns to you. There are tears on his cheeks. I love you too. He cups your cheek in his hand, stroking his thumb softly across your skin. This has been so hard for me too. Life doesn't feel right when things are weird between us. I know. I just want to talk to you about everything all the time. He smiles at this, getting lost in your eyes for a second before putting his serious face on. Okay, how about this? We spend the rest of the holiday just having fun. Drinking cocktails, going on dates, trying to get those villa vibes back into our lives. And then on the last day of the holiday, we have kind of a debrief to decide what we're going to do once we get back to reality. Does that sound good? If that's what you want, then sure. This is a terrible idea. If you're going to only be able to function well in fun scenarios, your bad times are never going to function. You need to be able to function at all times and you shouldn't have to have a debrief about how you're feeling. Like, let me just take you for a test run. People are not cars, you don't take them for test runs, okay? End rant, <laughs> moving on. I have a good idea of where we can start having fun. Oh really? Ty starts to lean towards you. Ty is going to kiss me. Let him. You close your eyes in anticipation. When your lips meet, it feels like coming home. Ty brushes your hair back with his palm. It's soft, it's safe, it's warm. Your hips and chest bump together in a slow fumble for closeness. The noises of the city and the sounds of nature are the perfect backdrop for the perfect moment. Hey you two, we're leaving. Genevieve stands awkwardly by the door. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I didn't realize. Um, we're all going. Thanks. An awkward pause. You can go now. <laughs> it's so awkward. Got it. Genevieve gives you a sneaky thumbs up before leaving. Everyone's leaving the restaurant. Um, what do you want to do? Hmm, I think we can get away with being up here for a little longer. A few minutes won't do any harm. And we missed the boat. <laughs> Let's do it. You rest your head on Ty's shoulder, looking out over the horizon. The sun starts to set, pink clouds standing out against the mountains. You take a deep breath. Everything is good. Okay, we should go now. Yeah. He laces his fingers with yours, and you start to head downstairs before he turns to you with a mischievous look. What? What is it? I was just thinking. Now we're together again, and you have a room all to yourself. 
Are you asking to spend the night with me? It would be nice after all that's happened. Or we could just go on a walk. I just don't want this moment to end. I feel like they should be uh, sleeping in the same room. They should have been already. But um, yeah, let's go. That sounds wonderful, let's go. After skirting past the others, you and Ty arrive on the beach. It's beautiful, huge, flawless. Ty takes your hand and walks you towards the sea. The boat is docked in the distance. It was such a nice idea to come out here. I wanted to spend more time with you. I just got you back. You sit down on the edge of the shore, watching the waves push and pull in the moonlight. Ty settles his head on your shoulder. It's comfortable, your bodies know each other, they fit. You kiss the top of his head. You spend a few more moments listening to the peaceful sound of the ocean. Do you want to maybe go back to your cabin? I was just thinking I could make some things up to you. Do I want to invite Ty back to my cabin for some fun? Um, bits don't repair relationships, but because I think they should have been in the same cabin the whole time, yes, let's go. Perfect. He helps you to your feet, his hands lingering on your waist. Your eyes meet. Let's go. You let Ty lead you back to the boat. You swipe your keycard in the door to your cabin. Ty's presence behind you makes your fingers shake on the handle. The lights are off inside. You flick them on. Almost immediately, Ty's hands are on your hips, his kisses trailing from your cheek down to your shoulder. Mmm. God, I've missed you. Me too. The door clicks shut behind you. Ty runs their fingers lightly up your arms until his hands cup your face. God, I just want to... What? What do you want to do? You know I'm not good at saying it out loud. Me neither, Ty. This is very uncomfortable for me. <laughs> Say it. Ty leans close to your ear. As Ty whispers all the things he wants to do to you, your chest flushes like your whole body is blushing. You giggle as he pulls back. I think we can get some of that stuff ticked off. Good. Ty leads you over to the bed. You fall together, bodies like puzzle pieces. Just saying, after uh, watching uh, some horror stuff, bodies like puzzle pieces is not something I want to hear right now. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. Context. <laughs> Ty lays down beside you. Where should we start? Where should we start? I guess... Ki kiss me hard. Your wish is my command. Ty holds your waist gently as he leans forward to kiss you. Firmly. You kiss back, your tongues tracing each other's lips, heat starting to build inside you. Ty's fingers stroke along your collarbone as you kiss. You slowly start taking off your clothes, hearing the faint thud as Ty throws them on the floor. Ty takes his top off, inch by inch, slowly tantalizing you. I mean, he's he's already wearing a shirt that's exposed his, his abs. I don't... <laughs> what more do we need? <laughs> Come on. Just giving you a show. Clothes discarded, your bodies meet under the sheets. Ty's hands know just where to go to make you feel good. The boat lurches suddenly, and you both giggle without breaking your kiss. What now? Shall we go all the way or keep kissing? Of course they're gonna go all the way. They haven't seen each other in a long time. Do you have a... I'm assuming a condom. They're not finishing the sentence here, but that's okay. Yep. Ty grins and reaches over to his discarded shorts and fishes out one from the pocket. He was just carrying one around. Single guy, Barcelona. Condom in his pocket. Cool. Are people this prepared all the time? Like... He went to a restaurant with a condom in his pocket. I know that people like go to bars and clubs and they, they have one night stands, but like they went out to eat with their friends and he just had one in his pocket. Ooh, so prepared, hot or discomforting because it wasn't for you. He didn't know you were going to talk to him. Ty pulls back for a second to look at you. What? He smiles, a sheen of sweat on his forehead, his eyes wide and excited. He's just like, <laughs> I just want to take this moment in. You look so beautiful right now. Ty takes you in his arms and you start to move together. Your breath comes out shaky, frenzied, fast. Ty whispers declarations of love in your ear as you cling to each other. He is your port in the storm. As you grow faster, Ty kisses you, his soft lips stark contrast to how he tightly holds you. I love you. I love you too. You see fireworks as you squeeze your eyes shut. Ty kisses your forehead. You both breathe heavily as you lie on your backs. Wow. Yeah. You cuddle up to Ty, tucking your head under his chin. Guess I can move back into this room now. Guess you can. It'll be nice to share a bed. Ooh, speaking of, big spoon or little spoon? We've been together a year and you don't know what I like? Little spoon. 
You turn away from Ty and he wraps himself around you from behind. You feel incredibly safe and warm. You feel sleep tugging at your brain. Night, babe. Good night. As sleep starts to take you, you wonder, am I happy? Yes, you drift off into a deep, peaceful sleep. Ooh, that meal was so good. I'm stuffed like a bell pepper. Okay, now we're gonna take some listeners' questions. First one is from Bill Cabin 3. What's your favorite condiment? Oh, mine has to be Japanese mayo. It's like regular mayo, but kind of sweet. That sounds gross. I'm not describing it well, you have to try it. Mine's ketchup. It's versatile, it's cheap, and it's one of your five a day. I don't think that's true. Then I'm not eating enough vegetables. Next question is from Genevieve in Cabin 1. Please shut up. It's 2 a.m. That's not a question, honey. Maybe there's a question mark next to it's 2 a.m.? Well, it is 2 a.m. Question answered. Catch you next time, where we set sail for Magaluf. I hope I'm saying that right. Magaluf? Finally, we can get this vacation started. Again, same feelings as before. That was kind of, it was cute. You know, we go to a little restaurant. What I didn't like is that because we couldn't say anything else to Rafi, like there's no option to be single. It's either you split up from your partner or you go back to your partner. There's no like, I just want to be single. But that being said, they do let you pick your friend a lot. And I like that. So like I could have sat next to Genevieve and it, you know, could have been, could have been cute. But anywho, cute surroundings. Love the artwork in this boat party um, episodes. All that jazz. Also, you can see that green thing behind me. Um, It's a backpack that I made uh, for Halloween. And I made a video of it for my other channel. I'm trying to finish editing it. Hopefully it'll be up soon. But if you like Oogie, you can go to my other channel, hopefully next week, and see that video. But also a long time ago, I made a Oogie costume. It was a couple years ago. If you guys wanna know how to, you know, look like Oogie Boogie for Halloween from Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, yeah, just plugging my other channel in here. Um, hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.